me use my smooth jazz voice. Oh, God. Anyway, today we're here to talk about the division. No, we're not. (laughs) We want to talk about what the division used to be, what it is now, and what new players can expect from the game now because a lot has changed from its inception and I felt like it needed to be talked about at this point because one of the people in here has over a thousand hours in the game. It's not me. Uh, That's crazy. (laughs) But I just feel like it was a discussion worth having. But before we get into it, I'm Cal. I'm good. Oh, I'm ghost. (laughs) So startled. Please introduce yourself. This is something X. all the time, man. I'm so Please tired. Please say X. <laughs> what is this death? What is what is this? What is this dead silence? I don't silence? know, man. I don't know. <laughs> what? I, I wasn't it. sure. I oh, wasn't so sure if he was going <laughs> second or if I was going second. So I went to go, and then he came in with that sexy tone. I was like, "Oh shit!" Just say I'm X. Me. Just say I'm X. <laughs> I'm X. <clears throat> there we go. Intro music. Oh, okay. Anyway, uh, The Division. So back during its inception, I can't really remember the year in which the game came out. Uh, I want to say 2017. I can look that up just to see here. Launch date, 2019, actually. Um, mm. Yeah, it's been a while. And... Has been. This is the second one we're talking about. Yeah, it's the second one, yeah. Okay, just and make sure. So I jumped on The Division to day one uh, which was a mistake because you know you spend so much time making a build and then the you leave for about a week and then you come back they've updated and now your build is no longer viable and i did that three times you spend 30 minutes making a build i did it three times and i come back and every time my build is broken or pieces no longer align together I'm just, and i think by the third time i just got off i was like you not you guys clearly need to get your Get your mess together before i get back in here and it's just it, it was just a lot to deal with but the main way in which looter shooters play like the division is is you spawn in um you would work your way through the story mode no one no one really cares about the story honestly you're just here to get to level 40 as quick as possible when you get to 40 you start you know fleshing out your build finding weapons you like You might get lucky enough to find one of those exotics because they really were rare back in the day. Uh, They were really hard Mm -hmm. to get because I remember the Nemesis or the Chatterbox. You had to actually find pieces of the exotic in the world. And I want to say that sometimes it was random. It wasn't really guaranteed that when you looked in a certain box that you would get it. Um, Because I know I remember getting the pieces for the Chatterbox in like those... um, they're kind of like lock lock boxes that you have to mm-hmm. have like true son's keys to unlock. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, that that process was extremely just it it just made the process so much uh so much longer. But that's just the the basis of the game. That's how it used to be. Now the division is <laughs> It's, com- it's completely different. I mean, exotics are a dime a dozen. You can hop in and you might get a chameleon drop within the first hour or two. Um, and if you got like, a couple of players with you, you can get three or four of them real quick too. Right. And I think that's one of my favorite aspects about that game is that your chances of getting something increase with the amount of people in your squad. Because if, if it drops for somebody and they already have it, they can just easily drop it for you. And I honestly would like that system to be replicated in other looter shooters, but it's neither here nor there. But so it's not like it's not actually shared, but you can share it, kind of thing. Right. Yeah. So, it, okay. but you have to be in the map or in the you have to be in the activity with that person that wants to share. If that makes okay. sense. Right. So if you were to pick up an exotic, I would have to already be in your lobby basically and there's also a time limit too what is it like 45 it's an hour an hour oh okay Mm -hmm. yeah still i I feel like it's a good system um yeah that's nice yeah and also like well we'll get into that later but actually i'm gonna let ghost take it from here because how many hours do you have in the game ghost 
That's disgusting. Don't talk about that. <laughs> we don't Go talk ahead. about that. We don't talk about Bruno. Tell the audience. Um, I I have 1,268 or 1,252 hours in the game. Nice. And when yeah. I met you, you had Tim's and Capri's and that, on. You know what? I didn't have Tim's on. I had sneakers on, but I did have some Capri's on. I did have them bad boys rocking. So disgusted at that. But actually, so, we played back in the day, not to cut you off, uh, X, but real quick, um, just a modifier to to the division. The we used to play back when they didn't have levels. They had gear scores, which was yes. so very different. That's and they cr- had world <laughs> tiers, which is wildly different than what it is now. That's crazy. You go ahead, that up. I forgot about that. Yeah, I was just gonna ask how many of those hours is the story, and how did you? What do you think about the story? The story is actually really good, which is very shocking because if you've ever played a game with me, I don't like stories. I just like getting to the business. You skips cutscenes. First off, no, I do do that. I do do that. That is not my forte. (laughs) You did it in Diablo. Um, I did do it in Diablo while Cal was listening to why we were going to be chasing after a sir. I was. I was getting attacked by a three-headed fire-breathing dog with a demon on it. Um, and I was trying to figure out why this was happening, but that's neither here nor there. Stop bringing that shit up. <laughs> Point is, um, the actual story is really good, but it's a game that actually follows the first game pretty well in like a linear way. Um, so if you like lore, there's a ton of it, but if you don't care about any of it, there's a shit ton of other things you could do. So that's true. it kind of plays into both sides of what you really want to, or how you want to play. But I do want okay, to cool. say, yeah, but I would do want to say that I, I know for a fact, I love story, but when it comes to like looter shooter, I uh, it's when it comes to specifically the division, I don't know why I just don't care about the story. I want to blow through and get to 40 as fast as possible, but that doesn't exist well, anymore. But I but I think why it's like that for you, because the the story doesn't really do anything for the gameplay. That's true. Do you know what I mean? Like it was it was very good in the beginning, like when we were in New York. Like it made sense, but this is just a continuation of the story, and you're just fighting factions at this point. The story really doesn't matter unless you're gonna follow the manhunts, which okay. But there's so many other parts of the game like you have to try to get through to get the full picture of the lore anyways. So if you're not going to go and do like the send modes and stuff like that to get other comms, you're never going to have the full story. That's true. And you can tell within the world that there are parts of this game that feel like they didn't really fully flesh out. Because one of the most intriguing parts of this game is the dark zone, the contaminated areas. Like, mm-hmm. I feel like they don't use those, uh, they don't use them properly or they don't flesh, they, it just feels like a waste because those environments always feel like, they feel intense because a lot of the times, I remember in the first one, like, your agent actually put a, puts a mask on and mm-hmm. I always thought how cool it would be like to fight a boss in there. It might be a faction hiding within those uh, contaminated, maybe it could be like an extremely difficult mission going into those contaminated areas. And you mm-hmm. can fight the boss, get like maybe get like high end material or possibly an exotic. But those those buildings aren't really used. It's just cosmetic. No. Yeah, and not for nothing though. I guess the the allure to the dark zone is the PvP aspect. Like you're really gonna find out what that build is like when you go in there. That is true. Like you it's like going like it's like working out, right? You may be the strongest person in your house. You might be the strongest person in your family until you go to the gym and then some dude's like warming up with like double your max. That's true. Like going into the dark zone is a very humbling experience when you think, oh, I'm blowing through hard content and this dude walks by and one shots you with a pistol in the face, like (laughs) just wipes all of your armor off, like everything. It's um, it's a very humbling experience for sure. Because there's definitely PVP builds and there's definitely PVE builds. A lot of people get on this game. But there are three other demons, and just create PvP. Soul builds. purpose. Soul purpose is to get Soul in that purpose. dark zone, take everything from and, you. <laughs> yep. And you know what's bad? They come in there, take, just blow you down, and don't take any of your stuff. Just soul purpose right, is just, just to just make sure fight, you don't get it. Which is yep, fair. It. I respect that. Yeah. But, yeah. So the division Terrorist. for the builds in the division, there's not like abilities and stuff, right? So these are all like gun based builds, or how's it? No, because I don't know anything really about. Yeah, no, so they're 
uh, there's not abilities in the in like the thought of like destiny like, like there's no destiny, mystical right? there's nothing yeah like, like, mystical, yeah yeah like you're not shooting out a force field like out of your hand or anything like that but there's gadgets that you can use that can do different things like you can put up turrets there's emp jammers or sticky bomb launchers like there's other things in the game that will lean into that but if you're gonna go into like uh like uh what was the game we were playing remnant like you have a weapon that then shoots out knives and stuff like that no you're not gonna get okay like yeah like for example they're more grounded in reality reality so for example the chameleon my favorite it shoots uh the gun's so trash i'm just all gonna... right <laughs> uh it has three modules on it so 75 75 body shots will give you like an increased amount of body uh uh damage to the body or no it's not the 75 body shots will give you increased weapon damage for a certain amount of time if you hit headshots i don't know i forgot how many it is like 30 or 45 you get 35 headshots you you get like a an increase in critical hit chance and critical hit damage and then if you hit like everything below the waist like if you're hitting their get like 100 shots on their toes yeah you get like instant reload and your goal is to try to get all three of those modules going at the same time and once yeah. once she warms up well she's chewing through everything uh but yeah, that's it, basically how the talents are structured yeah and the game is really built around I never thought I would say this on a video or describing a game, but like your kit needs to work harmoniously with each other and like your power level will like shoot through the roof. Like if you have things that are like not cohesively like talking to each other, the game feels sluggish. It does. But man, when you get a gear set or you get a combination of things that are working together, brother, you mm -hmm. will obliterate right content like it is wild like the power fantasy is there if you want it but if you want to sweat it out and you really want to challenge i mean you can amp it up and you'll definitely get the challenge for sure so yeah that's how the game is now but oh well, i'm gonna go ahead and let you talk to them well about what the, so, the newest so, update is yeah so here's the thing with the game it was stale for a while and that's just being brutally honest because there was nothing new that was really coming to the game unless you wanted to get into like a crew and you wanted to run like an incursion or a raid right or if you wanted to get in there and just do straight pvp which has its ups and its downs yeah. so the developers decided that they were going to get rid of doing seasonal characters and they leaned heavily into doing modifiers so if you've never played the division there are like event weeks where certain things will be i guess added to the game so like a big one that everybody likes is called golden bullet which pretty much means if you kill a specific npc it will ramp up your rate of fire almost a hundred percent which is really cool when you use a yes. gun like an smg which right. is one of the most satisfying things you'll ever see is like honestly one of the coolest mechanisms seen in a game <laughs> but they decided that they're going to add this on in to everything at all times so like right now, there's four different modifiers that are going on in the world for characters that you're going to fight. So one character has at a certain range, if they shoot you and they hit you, they can either have incendiary rounds or they have shock rounds. Now, the problem is you can have multiple NPCs in a group have this modifier, which sucks um, because you're pretty much just Harlem shaking all over the place while you're taking damage. So you have other ones. Go ahead. I was going to say, so just to clarify like NPCs, like normally they just shoot you. You just try to dodge, get out of the way, right. flank, whatever. But now within this update, you're saying that the enemies now have modifiers on them. Usually it's just you, the player has the modifier right. fighting. Correct. But now the NPC Correct. has modifiers where it's meant to punish you. So Correct. If and there's different ways that they can punish you too. So it's not only with that. So I'm glad we kind of touched on this earlier, like that power fantasy, right? Like being able to run through an NPC really quick, that time to kill. Well, the developers decided, well, that's super cool. So they turned it on its head and they have NPCs have a modifier on them that they have to be eliminated in a certain way. So it could be a distance thing. So certain NPCs will have the modifier on that you have to kill them at close range. But if you shoot them in medium or long range, 
the damage you do to them, it does to you too. So you can end up powering down and eliminating an NPC and kill yourself at the same time. That is incredibly oh, difficult okay. to keep up with. Because right. it is... Because Tom... I will say that even though the NPCs do not move like regular human beings, it's actually kind of scary how they run up to you and like they move. You don't know, like how they do a somersault and barrel roll in the no, same I move? I do not like that. Omni movement. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> but I will say that I do like the way the enemy tries to flank you. Like they're uh, they're definitely trying to to punish you and like trying to push you and corner you basically. Um and trying to keep up with that plus maintaining certain distances between the NPCs in order to clear mm -hmm. out a room. Yeah, I could I could see how that could be difficult, especially considering how much damage you're outputting at this point with your mm -hmm. shade watch already maxed out and you're telling yeah. me all that damage is coming back yeah i can see well i'll tell you this you know i run around with the uh, lady death right yeah. so the lady death as you're running it will amplify your weapon damage by eight per uh times eight while you're running dude when i first jumped into there i powered down this npc when i tell you my health bar like I went from shooting an NPC to being in the in the heavens, like really quick. I was like, I have no idea what's going on. But here's the crazy thing about that, and why he's probably laughing at it, is because this build that I have, as I'm killing an NPC and they get eliminated, it gives me health and armor back. So I was killing him so fast that I wasn't getting any of the benefits back. It just completely eliminated me. So the boys out there, Cal with striker builds okay. um, it was a rude awakening to go down and power somebody down with headshots and realize you're now dead too <laughs> so it was cool man but what the developers did is they gave us other modifiers that you can put on yourself like one that i thought was really cool and actually just had it pulled up um it's called quicken um but it actually gives you based on how many critical hits you get it actually cools down your um your gadgets uh cool oh, down I like period. that i really yeah do, so yeah. Uh, so like a character like you where you're running a lot of that um critical hit on the uh chameleon like you could get your gear back quick just kind of the way it all works but it's also something you have to kind of scope into as well like there's another one that's called impatient which i think is super funny um it cuts your original mag in half but it up grades your rate of fire and your damage by like times two or three which is super cool but you when you're run running of... around in an smg that <laughs> right, you only have 17 bullets any line you oh empty yeah that mag quick oh yeah yeah it's wild but if you play it right there's other builds out there that they release these gear sets that you get 50 percent extra ammo so if you play into that a little bit of build you can still have the same amount of ammo still doing the same amount but you get all the benefits of getting the rate of fire and the reload and the damage increase so it makes you really sit back and go, what am I trying to do? It's not for the faint of heart. I'm definitely not going to sit there and say, you know, it's a super fun thing to always do. Uh, <laughs> something you always bring up and it makes me laugh. There are some spreadsheets that are involved. <laughs> but um, sometimes, man, that's what it's about a little bit, you know? So, so for example, how did how was that modifier unlocked? Because I know you've explained it to me one time, but... Mm -hmm how yes. is that through the season right yeah so there's two different ways you unlock it so there's now seasonal like it's called a journey now um and there's certain you have to they give you eight objectives you have to complete six of them and you only unlock the first uh, modifier after like journey number four um, but there's another way that you get the passive modifiers um you get them through um priority objectives so they have this new system where you can kind of find stuff to do with content that you probably would overlook. You get three of these at a time. You can um, re-roll them once an hour, um, but you'll get a short variant, you'll get a medium variant, and you'll get a long variant. So your long variants are typically like a stronghold mission. Your mediums are typically a mission itself. And then your short are typically open world content like execution of hostages and things like that. But what's cool about it is that you either get seasonal XP, currency, exotic items, which I thought was super cool, yeah, but you also cool, get yeah. a chance to unlock passive modifiers. So what a lot of guys did, or girls, 
did when the season first started is they would just re-roll these until they got the passive modifiers and they were done with it. But for those characters that are just starting, you can actually, and I just tested this, you can start at level 30 um, and go through the like, the, uh, the booster process. And you can, if you can find somebody that can do that um, exotic mission, you can get an exotic weapon fully upgraded, like actual exotic weapon at level 30 which is a wild thought to right. think of. It's usually you don't think about exotics until, until you're maxed out. Well, I'll give you a great example because I did it and I got a an exotic and it's almost God roll yeah, at level that's, 30. That's the dream, yeah. <laughs> yeah, wild. Yeah, um, absolutely wild. So after all this, like how has the community taken like all of this change? Um... Unfortunately, <laughs> it's divided. It really is. Um, there's the there's the thought of if we boycott it enough the developers will go back to the original gameplay and i hate to tell you ladies and gentlemen they're not going to do that i was about to say they're not going to um, do that there is too much <laughs> funds and resources especially for you guys out there that follow developers they bent the knee and completely scrapped the seasonal content they're not taking anything else out of the game right um and then there's the other side that says well you know, we asked for something new and different and fresh, and this is what it is, and they're adapting. And as much as I don't like the meta people on YouTube that kind of ruin things, it's really cool to kind of <laughs> see how they're building weapons. <laughs> yeah, right? Um, but it's cool to see how guys and gals are out there building builds that actually completely nullify some of these modifiers that the NPCs have. So it's, um, it's cool to see that creativity come back to the game, though. Right. And... Also, you don't have to do this, correct? Like, this is just a choice. No. You don't even have to play like this. Well, um, yes and no. Yes and no. So you can turn it off if you want to do solo play. But, like, let's say for you and I, for example, right? If you jump on there and you jump into my game and I have them active, you have them active. Okay. It's not like it was before <laughs> where, because I think you and I were playing and one of these other clan members jumped in and he was doing, like, whatever the event was but we didn't have it right now nah, you jump into my game you have it and you're going to experience what it is oh god so some of those guys that are trying to queue up for like legendary missions the wait times are like 20 and 30 minutes because a lot of people don't like the modifiers are you serious yeah it's hmm. pretty bad but here's the thing man you can't complain about a game not being fresh and not giving you content and they give you the content and then you don't try to embrace it a little bit especially That's when true. you know the game isn't going back Right. And they give you the option to not play it, but I mean, you gotta I don't give know. it to them though. Like for just trying to come up with new ways to get keep the community engaged after uh, how many years? <laughs> a lot, a lot, and they don't have a large development. Five group. years, yeah. Well, and here's also the thing. You know, you can boycott it all you want, but if you want Division Three, I hate to tell you, boys and girls, but these are probably going to be in Division Three in about three years when oh, it drops. Oh, absolutely. So, so you can either get behind it and kind of just enjoy it and struggle a little bit because that's what gaming is. Like, I know you guys out there play um, Helldivers. It ain't fun getting swarmed. I don't like Shriekers. I, I don't like it. them at all. Don't like it. But I, well, I'll get in there and I'll cuss and be all happy that's and where excited I feel most and alive. blow myself up. I swear to God. <laughs> but there's parts of it that suck and there are parts that are really fun. You just, you have to understand what you're getting yourself into a little bit. Absolutely. So if X were to come in, I think X would do amazing at it. But we both know him, so. I do. I do. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> and not that's sure. the problem as well. I do not think, now that I know what he likes, I do not think he would enjoy the game as much as we do. I um, think no. it's a little too grounded for me. Yes, exactly. That's what I was just about to say. <laughs> I was like, I did have a question real quick Go before ahead. I forget. Go ahead. The different. Uh, builds that you do is it mainly just mm -hmm. gear or is it like resetting talent points and how easy is it to swap between those different that's builds? a great question it's both okay it's both okay. because you can change talents you can change stats and that that is always something Cal and i complain about in a very respectful way because that's a grind part of this because you can change the the stats on gear so like you can re-roll them you can increase them you can change the talent on gear um, but you need resources for it, and that's the hard thing to come by. Right, so, that's where the farming comes. A lot of the farming yeah, comes okay. in, just I got you. grinding from resources. Because, so, oh, go ahead. 
no no no. so like if you're coming in new to the game it's cool to kind of figure out what you want but for the player that's kind of in that medium aspect where like they're not fully in trying to put a thousand hours into a game for you to swap a build and try to get the max out of it it's going to be it's going to be a tough learning curve for and that you. and okay. like i, I want to say that's probably one of the like biggest cons i have for the game is just the fact of in the beginning swapping out and trying another build it like trying to max that build out it's just it's demoralizing having to go and do that farming all over again trying to get this gear god roll because the way it works is you can't like say if you get gear and two of the attributes are maxed out but there's just one that doesn't want to act right like maybe it's below five percent you can choose to either re-roll all attributes or you can choose to uh re-roll that one attribute but once you re-roll that one attribute you cannot touch any of the other ones again i think you have to re-roll the entire gear set again correct you have yeah, to start over and, and that shit awesome. yeah that's weird yeah. well it, it's the point of keeping you in the game right like that's just being honest about it and then it just you know when you get on to like youtube and you start looking up like ooh, let me see a cool striker build like when you look at certain stuff and guys have this stuff maxed you like it's like if you played the game you look at it and go holy shit they put in a lot of time for that to have it in complete six gear set maxed out with a weapon maxed out and more or less if it's an exotic and then you start getting into this whole other tier we don't got to get into it but then like expertising yes. and these guys are like maxed out expertising where there's thousands of pieces of gear that you have to donate like you look at this and just go there's no you just going from youtube I mean, you can if you have it, but like going from YouTube to your game and mimicking what that is, right? Like, it, like you're not doing that. You're not doing that off rip. It's not like Destiny where you're like, oh, I can get, you know, I can swap really easily between like stasis. Okay, I got you. It is not like yeah, that. Yeah, it's that's not like that right. at all. By the way, we really need you on Destiny. I miss you. But, I love uh, you. Like, just tell but, me how yeah. I get you there. I ain't lying. So after you, please. but if you get the gear, <laughs> if you get the gear to like the roles that you want. And you wanted to swap again you have to look like it depends uh, yeah so like if so you, you want to go you could like keep that and then go grind for a new one and yeah and have two okay yeah so, so like, you don't lose the other one you oh just no gotta there's grind loadouts. No, 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 every time no, 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 no. Okay. yeah there's loadout so like if you like if you're ever on well i mean i could show you on mine one time but like i have six different loadouts on my character depending mm -hmm. on the content that i want to run so if i'm going to run an smg cool <laughs> if i want to run an assault rifle cool if I want to run just strictly like gadgets, I can run that. If I want to run an LMG, I, I can do that too. But yeah, every time you decide you want to do a new gear set and you want to try to maximize or optimize that, yes, that grind starts over. Okay. The game is fun. I do enjoy it. I did enjoy my 300 hours that I had. Some of us are more Those overachievers are than others. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Get but the numbers up. I do think that the division is one of Ubisoft's most successful games that they have, considering they've been losing a lot lately. Uh, Ubisoft, I still, I, I still see that you tried to drop a NFT game silently and didn't say anything. I'm on to you. But anyway, <laughs> I mean, you said uh, what 2019? Yeah, it came out. In 2019. And it's still going. So and I mean, yeah, still, that's yeah, a good, good and, while. I mean, there's plenty of content to keep you to keep you engaged, um, but yeah, especially for like a new player, I feel like Division is at it at this point the easiest to get into, um, and even better when you have a squad to play with. It makes the experience a lot better, and it makes the grind less of a grind because you're in there chatting, obviously. Pass the share the loot too. Right, exactly. Um, but yeah, thank you for that, Ghost. We learned yeah, a lot. Thanks. Yeah. Your twelve hundred. Oh, hours. I will tell you. Go ahead. And you know what? I will tell you this. Um, I was trying to find the YouTuber, and maybe I'll give it to you. You can drop it in here. Like, I actually want to give him a shout out. It's somebody that I follow on here. Um, he actually, I didn't know this, but in China, they have a division server that is not supported by the same team that does our division. Oh, really? And they have completely different stats, different weapon exotics like super cool and he got access to it and he dropped it online over the weekend and i was watching it 
I'm gonna try and get his name again, but like super cool to kind of look at like they're not doing it for the mainstream like us where they got to do it on Xbox, PC and PlayStation. Right. It's strictly for PC over there. But like we always talk about having like um uh, what is it? Like outfits for your characters. Yeah. Dude, yeah. they got all sorts of stuff going on over there and I saw it I was like this is freaking cool. Like oh, we need my. all of this. I'm gonna I'm gonna find this dude's name and uh maybe we can give him that's a That's one up, thing before we cool. even end it. There is there's one thing I that my biggest gripe with the game is that there is no drip. They like at all. <laughs> like it's just it's just not there. Well that's all we have, people. Thank you for turning in. Yeah, they appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead and sign us out, Ghost. No, I'm good. This one's all you. I've done oh enough talking. Actually, you know what? Let X do it. You know, why don't we just do it like the Sopranos and just cut it off? Oh my god. <laughs> We Hope you enjoyed. Make sure to like and subscribe. Watch our previous video. Yeah. Right. I don't know. <laughs> Come back and see us. <laughs> Good enough. Uh, we'll catch you on the next one, guys. Bye. See you. Bye. Bye.